This is a section of a beech tree, Fagus sabbatica, showing the classic tree rings that are used for dating purposes. It can be a bit inaccurate in that occasionally you get Indian summers where the tree has stopped growing, but because the weather improves for a short period of time, a new ring starts to grow. Oh, those, of course, are very narrow and can usually be distinguished. So here we've got the outermost bast layer. The bast layer is made up of the bark, that's the external portion that's very thin, whilst the brown layer there is actually the phloem. That also contains rings. It's the same age as the rest of the tree. In beech trees, the bark is very smooth. Other trees, it becomes very grooved. Some trees, like sycamores, it becomes scale-like and drops off when the trees get older. But you see it's actually a very small layer. Now the darkest brown layer between the outer phloem and the inner xylem layer is the layer called a meristem, there where living cells exist. And those living cells divide and produce to the outside the phloem, which are living cells, and to the inside the xylem which are not living cells, but are there as vessels to transport water. It's not entirely true, as you can see from the dark colour here. This is the inner, or heart, of the tree. And this section is purely structural for support, and contains large amounts of a chemical called lignin, which acts as a, a bit like a sort of concrete. So the cells that used to transport water become filled with this lignin, and are there for support. Because what does happen is many trees get attacked by fungi, this one hasn't been, and that rots out the centre. The tree doesn't die because it still has the outer layer for transporting water and this phloem there which transports food. In early spring it transports food from the roots up to the rest of the tree, but for the rest of the year food is transported downwards from the leaves which make the food um, to be stored or transport it throughout the rest of the plant. So this central layer here, if the tree does die, it's often because of being blown over. And that means that because the, the central layer here has become hollowed, weakened, and the tree then becomes prone to being blown over in the wind, or rather being snapped in the wind. What you also have here is medullary rays. These cracks here, these are representing the vessels that transport materials outwards from the centre. So they're another, another transport system. But when trees are felled, if they're not properly allowed to mature before being used in joinery, and this is where the cracks develop and the timber is ruined.